today we're going to discuss everything that tax professionals need to know to ensure that they're going to have a successful tax season. Now, when setting up your tax office during tax season, those are the crucial times within the year that is going to ensure how successful you're gonna be for the remainder of the year. So listen up, tax pros. We're gonna go through some important information. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Carmen Mohan, and I'm the founder and CEO of Straight Tax. I've been in the tax industry since 2012, so I understand all the things that you need to do to set yourself up, up for success for the upcoming tax year. Now, the first thing we're going to talk about today is going to be tax software. Tax software is the most important part of your setting up your tax business because tax software is going to be the number one tool that you will be using during the tax season. When thinking and considering about which tax software should you use or when should you switch out tax software, you first need to take a few things into consideration. One, is this tax software easy to use? Now, you're gonna wanna make sure that you do have a tax software system that is easy to use for a couple of different reasons. Well, the most obvious is once you bring on staff to try to help you support your customers, you're gonna wanna make sure that the tax software isn't too complex for an entry-level person. Also, the bigger the tax software company actually is, the better the customer support and the better the training resources that they may even have available to you. One of the questions when going through your tax software preferences on trying to figure out who you're going to select to work with is one of the questions you're going to want to ask your sales rep is going to be, hey, do you guys offer training resources and materials for me to train my staff on how to use your tax software? You're gonna to wanna to also make sure that all your tax softwares have interview modes for clients so that you can help to train your preparers entry level or even train the person handling the calls for at least specific basic questions that a taxpayer may call or ask. Next, you're gonna to wanna to consider pricing models. Once building your tax business, how are you going to set up your pricing models? Are you going to do flat rate pricing? Flat rate pricing usually means you have a flat rate for every service. It doesn't ever change. Another common way to set up your pricing models as a tax business is going to be to do per form pricing. Per form pricing means that we have a starting at rate. Just to give you an example, your starting rate may be $125 for a single filer or $175 for a head of household filer, or $225 for a married filing joint filer. And then depending on the additional forms added onto their return, then the prices will increase as you go. Another thing you're gonna to wanna to take into consideration with pricing models is how can you package the pricing to offer the customer more value and also ensure that you guys are getting compensated for your time. Next, another thing you're gonna to wanna to take into consideration previous to, to tax season is going to be bank products. Are you going to use bank products in your tax office? For those of you that don't know what bank products are, they are a third party bank that allows you to charge your customers through the refund amount that is refunded to them. Tax product banks have been around and most commonly are used in the franchise tax office setting. More over the last five years, more smaller mom and pop shops have started to incorporate bank products in their system because it allows them to offer other services like easy advances and possible other rebates that the taxpayer may get when working with the third party tax bank products. One of the things you're gonna to wanna to keep in mind if thinking about using bank products, and we have another video on bank products available for you guys where we speak in detail. Another thing you're gonna to wanna to take into consideration when thinking if whether or not you're going to want to use bank products is you need to remember the tax offices that do use bank products wait to get paid once the customer has actually been issued their refund from the IRS. 
you are taking your payment through their refund. So therefore you have to wait till the IRS has actually issued the refund to the taxpayer. So you're gonna to wanna to have some form of collections in place that need to happen once you don't receive your payment from your clients. When using bank products, there's pros and cons. One of the pros of using bank products are that bank product offices tend to charge more for their preparation fees since they do actually have to wait to get paid and use the third party banking service. And tax pros, if you're going to consider to use bank products, you have to keep in mind that because you are waiting to be actually funded for your tax preparation fees, there are going to be some things that you need to set up on the back end to ensure that you can collect your payments from your customers. For instance, if they don't have any offsets or you're charging them up front accordingly or other types of collections processes you have to put on the back end for those taxpayers that you don't actually collect payments from. Keep that in mind. Now for all you tax pros out there, this is a lot of information and all of these pointers will set you guys up for success to ensure you have a fruitful tax season. Because again, if you have an easy to use tax software program aligned with you understand now your pricing models and how you're going to price along with if you're going to use a bank or not, these are kind of like the three core factors that we need to take into determination when setting up our tax season for success for the upcoming tax year. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn the notification button on so that you can get an update on our new content. I wish you guys the best of luck and happy tax season.